want you to know that you don't have no trouble. All you need is your faith in God. And in all thy getting, get understanding. Jesus. Hey, this is the day the Lord has made. It's good to see every one of you under the sound of my voice. We bless the name for, we bless God for his holy name. Hallelujah. We bless him for all that he has done. I believe you had a, a wonderful time. Let's have a word of prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we are grateful to you and uh, thanks for all that you have done for us. We thank you for this weekend. Blessed weekend you've given unto us and uh, blessing us with a brand new day. We are very grateful. Million thanks. Million thanks. If we have a thousand thanks, tongues in our mouth, we cannot thank you enough. Lord, we are so grateful. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on us. Lord, I yield myself to you, nothing of me and everything of you. Spirit of God, bless your people with such an understanding of the word of God so that we can increase in every area of our life. Sit and take your hands off God's people. For we do not belong to you but to the Father. And we are ready to receive from him. We thank you Holy Spirit. Help us in Jesus name. Amen. Amen and amen. If you, if you are just joining me wherever you are under the sound of my voice. Um, we are live all across the social media. Um, on your Facebook, uh, the Twitter, or the Periscope, the YouTube, live right now. So wherever you are under the sound of my voice, please um, tune in. Tune in. Uh, if nothing else, just put the name. Uh, if it's uh, Periscope and Twitter, it's PQ Ministries 1. PQ Ministries or PQ at PQ Ministries 1. And uh, Facebook is Patrick Quaino Ministries Website is www.patrickquainoministries.com. Amen. And um, the YouTube is, the, is still the same. All right. Let's get to the Word of God. Today, I want to talk to you about the fact of the matter is that um, it's even in the, in the form of a question. Whether the, the Spirit in you bears witness to the Holy Spirit. Does the Spirit in you bears witness to the Holy Spirit? All right, that's the spirit in you, bears witness. How do you know that? Now, as 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 uh, important that it is, uh, not to say that uh, you have to be spiritual to um, receive uh, receive God or receive things from God. You don't have to be spiritual. It's not always. Uh, you don't always have to feel spiritual to have a new life. In Jesus Christ however however emotions and um, 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 and feelings uh, plays a vital role also also in our salvation <clears throat> emotions um, and uh, feelings yeah, sometimes plays a vital role uh, in our in our salvation um, Paul Paul in experience in his experience in the book of Romans the eighth chapter go with me now to the book of Romans the eighth chapter all right let's leave some scriptures we're talking about the witness the witness I mean, witness of the Holy Spirit witness of the Holy Spirit does your spirit bears witness the spirit in you does it bear witness to the Holy Spirit or not very important question so um, as a child of God and as a believer, you must um, um, check check yourself. Does your spirit bear witness, the spirit in you? Does it bear witness to the Holy Spirit? So let's see what uh, Paul experienced in Romans, the 8th chapter, um, the 16th verse. Okay, <clears throat> Romans 8, go with me to Romans 8, 16. And the spirit, verse 16 says, and the, the spirit himself bears witness with our spirit the spirit bears witness the holy spirit bears witness himself you see 
and this is this is very uh, he's emphasizing okay emphasizing which spirit we're talking about here the Holy Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit uh, that we are children of God that we are children of God and so and so this is why I'm asking you to you know check yourself and make sure that um, your spirit in you the spirit in you bears witness uh, to that of the Holy Spirit now remember Jesus had told you and I that um, when the Holy Spirit comes he will dwell the Holy Spirit will dwell with us and he will be in us in us and so if the Holy Spirit is in us then the Holy Spirit in us will bear witness to the Spirit of God are you listening and so verse 17 says and if children okay let's read verse 16 again the Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God and if indeed 17 says and if indeed if indeed children then heirs heirs of God and joined heirs with Christ if indeed we suffer with him that we may also be glorified together we may be glory we may glorify we may be glorified also be glorified together with Christ are, are you listening so this is this is a true witness um, of our spirit bearing witness to the spirit of of God the spirit of truth the Holy Spirit okay so this way I want you to understand something that is very important that um, irrespective of the the um, whatever you are going through all right good bad ugly uh, just be mindful that the Holy Spirit who is residing in you bears witness okay to the Spirit of God around you dwelling with you so it is not just for you to think that um, uh, if you are going through a challenging or some serious tough times uh, the Holy Spirit is not in you if you are born again have received the baptism of the Holy Spirit okay now the enemy will let you think that the Holy Spirit is not with you and uh, therefore what you are going through is a result of the fact that the Holy Spirit is now with you and he has left you and that's why you have to you are going through all that no beloved don't buy don't buy that you know deceitful um, um, sentences and statements of the enemy okay because it's very very easy and some very easy for you I mean it's very 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 serious move for you to take to think that what you are going through is as a result of the fact that the Holy Spirit has left you no the Holy Spirit hasn't left you all right the Holy Spirit last week I shared with you that Jesus was going through this tough and difficult challenging times for which in the Garden of Gethsemane he prayed he prayed that father if it is possible take this burden uh, of, of this cup from me if it is all possible nevertheless nevertheless it is not my will but let your will now don't forget that the Holy Spirit was on him and the Holy Spirit was in him even at that time the Holy Spirit hasn't left him the Holy Spirit has not left him are you listening so this is very important don't buy believers believers don't buy the trick of the enemy for you to think that the Holy Spirit has left you and whatever you are going through um, is because of that are you listening so the Spirit himself bears witness We're talking about witness of the Holy Spirit our spirit bearing witness to the that of the Holy Spirit see there's a difference between you and the world the world do not know the Holy Spirit the world do not that's why they have not received the Holy Spirit but you have Jesus says okay so this is one important area uh, to remind you and for you to live your life as a current and um, 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 a New Testament believer all right so that you don't fall for that trick of the enemy look at first John first John chapter 3 uh, the 24th verse look at first John go with me to first John first John chapter 3 let's read something there very important first John chapter 3 all right chapter 3 verse 24 look at first John it says now 
He who keeps his commandments abide in him. Kumari, God bless you. Dan Danielle, God bless you for coming on. Please do me a favor, tag your friends and share this broadcast to your friends. And let them know that um, I am live. We are live on all the social media, live, instantly, on the YouTube, the Facebook, the Periscope, and all the good stuff, all right, live, so they can do that, all right, Mr. Josh, Josh, God bless you, okay, so we are live right now, live right now on the social media, so if um, somebody is on uh, on YouTube, they can, you know, see this broadcast live, wherever they are, they can see it live, okay, now, look at, um, Verse 24 of First uh, John chapter 3. Verse 24, First John chapter 3. We've been talking about the Spirit, okay, witness, witness of the Holy Spirit. We are the witness to the Holy Spirit. The Spirit in us bears witness to that of the Holy Spirit. And uh, we just read, we just read Romans, the 8th chapter, the 16th verse. Now let's look at the uh, First John, the 3rd chapter, the 24th verse. And it reads, that now he who keeps God's commandments abide in him. He who keeps God's commandment abide or, or the commandment that Jesus gave abides in him. In in who? In Jesus. We abide in Jesus. Um, and he, Jesus, abides in this individual or in us. And by this, we know that he abides, he God Jesus abide in us. He abides in us by the Spirit whom He has given to us. By the Spirit that has been given to us. The Spirit. Which Spirit? Enoch, God bless you. What Spirit are, is, are we talking about here? We're talking about the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit that has been given to us. All right? The Holy Spirit has been given to us now john the 14 chapter the 16 verse remember jesus said that he's he will pray he will pray that god the father will send us sam god bless you all right the, the father will send us the holy spirit okay the son the father will send us the holy spirit so the holy spirit has come and he's he's going he's dwelling with us and in us and so we are talking about the fact that whatever we are going through, or you may be going through, or shall go through, please do not buy the, the, the trick of the enemy that um, you are going through these difficult times and challenging times because the Holy Spirit is not in you. No, no, don't believe that. If you have received Jesus and uh, received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is in you. It doesn't mean that you will not go through any challenges of this of this of your time in this world listen in this world in this in this world you know david says something the other day king david he says he says only the living has a problem only the living so if you are if you are living and breathing and hearing me right now i want you to know that problems and challenges are, are part of you know your journey on this on this on this earth Problems and you know, Paul said something the other day. He says that he says that we 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 face problem. It's almost like the, the sentence of death was even passed on us. All right, he said trouble came to us. Trouble came to us in Asia when he was in Asia. Trouble came. Now did 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 Paul go look for trouble? No. It's it's part. It trouble is 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 an element of this world. You will encounter it one way or the other. Are you listening? Trouble, you will encounter the trouble one way or the other. So therefore, I want you to understand that when you are going through this trouble and challenging times, it does not mean that God has left you. The devil will let you believe that. But please don't fall into his tricks. Are you listening to me? Don't. Remember, he tried to do the same. He tried to do that to Jesus. All right, in the in the wilderness, where uh, the Bible says that after he he uh, tempted him so many times, then brought him to the uh, the top of the mountain to show him the the kingdoms of the world, the glories of the world, and telling Jesus that 
you know, if you bow to me, I can give you all this. And why don't you also even throw, you know, brought him to the cliff of the uh, of the mountain that why throw yourself down and and God will charge his angels to to, uh, you know, to uphold you and all that. Listen, the, the enemy. Uh, uh, listen, don't buy. Don't buy. It doesn't matter what you're going through. Madhu, God bless you. All right. It doesn't matter what you are going through. Do not buy the trick of the enemy. Don't buy it. This, this, like I, I believe you've heard this before that this too shall pass. Whatever you're going through, it will pass. It didn't come to stay, it did not come to destroy you. Well, it came to, to want to destroy you, but don't quit, don't give in. Because God, listen, God, we don't know all of God, but He uses so many things. Arita, my girl, God bless you. All right, God uses even circumstances. Are you listening to me? And, I'm, and, and, and this is maturity class. God uses circumstances, all right, to bring you to where he has planned for your life. All right, this is what I shared with you the other day. Scripture says in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, read from verse 6 down. It says that eyes, no eyes have seen, nor any ears has heard. The things, what, listen to this, the things that God has prepared for those who love him. The things God has prepared. Are you listening? Do you love God? If you love God and you said yes to that question right now, then I want you to know that the things that God has prepared for you, no eyes have seen or ears have heard. It has not entered into the heart of any man or woman. Glory be to God. Are you listening? The things that God has prepared for those who love him. And so God may even use circumstances to bring you to where you belong, where he has, he has, Listen, remember, God says that he says the plans I have for you, they are plans of good and not evil. Listen to this to bring you to the expected end. Are you listening? The plans God, this is what God is saying. He said the plans I have for you, I created you and I have a plan for creating you. So the plans I have for you, they are plans of good and not evil to bring you to the expected end. So there's an expectation of what God has done. Okay, God is expecting that the, that the person of you that he created has to come to the place of fulfilling what he, God, has planned. And so nothing can destroy you. Trust me, nothing. You know, we, 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 the enemy tried very hard to succeed in getting us to believe that some demons and some, and some, and some family witches and all those people are, listen, 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 listen. I, I was once a believer of that foolishness and nonsense. But listen to this. God, Jesus became a curse. See, when there's a curse on you, you are attracted to demons and, and witches and all that negative nonsense of the devil. When a curse. But Jesus became a curse instead of you being a curse. So if, if Jesus has now become a curse, to take away your sins and your, your, your diseases and sicknesses and shame and all those things. And Jesus says, listen, don't worry about the tribulations of the world that you are going through because I have already overcome it. Then why do you want to place you, you know, by the trick of the devil, by letting you think that whatever you are going through, you know, it is some demons uh, who have taken control over your life and all that. Listen, go to sleep and snore because Jesus has already, unless you don't believe what Jesus has done for you. Now, if you believe what he's done for you, then what's your problem? Then what's your problem? Irrespective of all the so-called things that you believe, you still go to sleep and get up. Do you know who protects you when you sleep? Do you think the demons who are trying to kill you who are trying to let you not go ahead of your of uh, of uh, uh, of life? You think the demons who don't want you to succeed, they want you to, and all those things that demons catch fire, catch fire, and fire hasn't burned them, and they are still around. But let me tell you something, beloved. When you go to sleep, there's somebody who protects you. Do you protect yourself? Ask yourself. See, the, the other day I was talk, I was talking about common sense Christianity. How, where, do you protect yourself from these demons when they they um um and when you go to sleep so you realize that god's plan will come to pass now think about it do you think anybody can stop the plan of god concerning your life do you think so 
Do you really believe that? That anybody can stop the plan of God for your life? I mean, see, the scriptures is given, all right, you the New Testament believer or Christian. I want you to draw your mind to something that the old dispensation or the, the old covenant or the old testament, okay, is there for your reference for you to know that people went through what you are going through, that the hand of God was upon them, that nothing, nothing could stop them from becoming what God has planned their lives to become. Look at somebody like Joseph. Now look at, look at, the, and you talk about de, uh, family demons uh, uh, coming after you. And yes, let them do all that. But I want you to do, to understand something. Don't believe that whatever you are going through, the Holy Spirit has left you. Don't believe that whatever you are going through, God has left you. Don't believe the devil wants you to believe that. The devil wants you to believe that. And if you, but listen, if two shall, if two will touch and agree, if two, that's what the scripture says. Are you going to agree with what God has said concerning your life? Or you are going to agree with what the devil is telling you? If two shall, 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 shall agree, if two will touch and agree, I am not agreeing with the devil. It doesn't matter whatever circumstances I find myself in, whatever I have found myself in, whatever I'm finding myself in, and whatever I shall find myself in. I know that I know that whatever God has said, the word of God is yea and amen. It is subtle. It cannot be annulled. It cannot be altered. It cannot be changed. You cannot destroy the work of God. Are you listening? You can't destroy the work of God. Can you? Who do you think? God created the heaven and the earth and all that is within. Who has the authority to destroy the work of God? Nobody. Listen, I'm telling you, people have tried before you were born. People tried thousands of years before you were born and they were not able to, to destroy the work of God. They couldn't destroy the gospel. Do you think that your dispensation, your time, is when somebody will be able to, and, this, and the same Satan, the devil that you are always, always spending so much time about him and, and all that, and, and all, he's been around trying, trying for years, thousands of years. How old are you? And yet you are given so much time instead of spending time with God and the Holy Spirit that God has put in you, all right, for you to um, rise up and enjoy your daily life, get into finding exactly what God has, has prepared your life for and work towards it. You spend so much time about the devil. I don't, listen, you, you don't, I just came to let you know that the, the, the spirit of God in you bears witness to the spirit of the truth. That's the Holy Spirit. And so it doesn't matter what you're going through. Are you listening to me? Paul, I mean, John is saying something here in um, in John, first John chapter 3, verse 24. Listen to this again. He says, now, he who, he who, <laughs> he or she who, all right, okay, keeps the commandment of God, abides in him, abides in him. And he, God, in this individual, and by this, we know that he, God, abide in us by the spirit whom he has given to us. Making and identifying this particular spirit, because there are all kinds of spirit on the face of this earth. The spirit that God has given. What spirit did God, God give to us? The Holy Spirit. Jesus says, I will pray the Father to send you the Holy Spirit. Jesus was very specific. He didn't say, I'll pray the Father to send you a spirit, to send you spirit. He says, I'll pray the Father to send you another spirit, another helper, he says, another helper. If you go to the, the, um, the, the 26th verse of John 14, you will see even specifically the name is mentioned there, the Holy Spirit. Are you listening to me, beloved? The Holy Spirit. And so God has given as the spirit whom he has, whom bears witness to us. He says, look at verse 24 again, man, I love this. Now he who keeps his commandments. Now what commandments is, 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 um, is uh, scripture talking about here? The commandment Jesus gave. The new commandment. The new commandment. Now remember, Jesus 
has come to reinstitute a new covenant. Okay, we are not living under that old covenant. We are living in a new covenant. And this new covenant, all oh, glory be to God. I'm going to show you something that's marvelous. And this new covenant is so exciting for you to know that you can approach God without any fear. Oh my, I'm telling you, so exciting. So I want you to know that, all right? Now, this, um, um, again, John chapter 3, uh, 1 John uh, 3, 24. Write, write these things down and please read them and read them again. Faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing the word of God, all right? It informs us that we can experience that inner witness of the Holy Spirit uh, to our spirit, all right? There's a there's an inner witness of the Holy Spirit to our spirit. There's a, there's a, there's a connection. We're talking about witness of the Holy Spirit. Our spirit bears witness to the spirit of the Holy I mean the spirit of truth okay now what does this mean actually what does this mean to you it means that we can only enjoy the quiet confidence okay quiet confidence given by the holy spirit that we have indeed passed from death onto life we have passed from spiritual death onto spiritual life the fact that the holy spirit is in us it means that we have passed from spiritual death Okay, onto spiritual life. Now, beloved, you are alive and well. You are alive and well. listen, say right now to yourself, all is well with me and my family. All is well with me and my house. All is well. Just keep saying it. All is well. Just say it. All is well with me. Nothing missing, nothing broken. All is well with me. Are you listening? All is well. You have to come to the place of believing God more so than, you know, than the devil. Sometimes, to be honest with you, I listen to a lot of, you know, sometimes I go on Facebook and just listening to other people. I mean, I like to listen to other preachers as well and, and all that. And sometimes it's, it's, it's hard, you know, it, it may, it, if you're not careful, you, you, you'll be disappointed. Because, I mean, you spend more time, you hear some people, you spend more time, you know, in, in, in talking about the devil, more so than, than talking about God and the things God has done. I mean, look at you. You. Who made you? Do you think your, your, your biological mother or your biological father, do you think they created you? Now, if you think they created you, then think about who created them. Okay. They didn't create you. The legal entry point to this earth is through the womb of a woman. <laughs> Are you listening to me? And so, and so that is why you have so much um, 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 uh, troubles. Well, who said that? It says that uh, um, uh, 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 any man born of a woman, okay, will go through challenges. Well, that's that's it. Because this world, Jesus says. This world is full of tribulations. But rejoice. Why? Because he has overcome those tribulations. For who? For you. For you. So, so let begin to, you know, receive this understanding that you are not, you know, rising up from the bed this morning on the on the loose or the losing side, but on the winning side. You are not getting up this morning. Do you think think about it? Think about it. If you think your life is over, if you think some demon has taken over your 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 family and all that, and 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 you are still alive, what are they keeping you alive for? What do you think this? Listen, Scripture tell John, same John. Okay, I love John. He says the devil came to steal, the liar, the stealer. The, he came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. That's what he came to do to your life. He didn't come to negotiate with you. He didn't come to negotiate. His job is to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Are you listening? But then Jesus all showed up and said, Hey, buddy, let me tell you something. I have come to give you life. How glory be to God. And life more abundant. Now, who, 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 whose side are you going to stand? Whose side are you going to stand? Jesus said, I have come to give you life. And life more, more, not not more, but more abundant. And Satan says, I have come to steal, kill, and destroy. 
So now, who are you going to accept? And who are you going to pay more attention to? Are you listening to me? So why are we spending more time? You know, interestingly, the other day I was sharing that um, <laughs> Satan knows knows that um, his time is even short. According to John, the revelator. All right. In John chapter 12, um, uh, read from verse 7 down. I don't have much time, but read it down. you see that. He says that his time, he knows his time is short on this earth. Now, why are you spending more time thinking about who is doing you what and what is that? Let them be. You have a big God who created you, who nobody can take what is in his hand. Are you listening to me? Nobody can. Who can take what is in the hand of God? Who? Think about it. Just think. Just, just think. Unless you believe that God is some small guy that, you know, he's not, he's not powerful enough. And that you have to, you know, think of some other power to, you know, um, 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 protect you or preserve you or provide for you. If not, beloved, I want you to know that no, no other power, no other power, God says, the plans I have for you, they are plans of good and not evil to bring you to the expected end. So what makes you think that God has not, it doesn't have expectation of you? Hey, God, Rama, God bless you. What makes you think God has an expectation of you? He's expecting that the person that I have created is to, is to, that person is to come to this area of life to accomplish me, God, my purpose and plan for this earth that I created. Now, remember, spending that, that Satan or the devil or the demon you spend more time about, they did not create this world. Though. Think about it. Now, let me tell you something. Hey, now, God bless you. All right. They didn't. The demon and the Satan and the devil and all those witches you spend more time talking about them and they, they, they let them catch fire. See, let, let, let's try something here. Let us try something here. Let's take just a day, okay, and ignore Satan and demons and witches and all that. Ignore them one day and use that day to just thank God for creating you. Oh, my goodness. See what will happen. Just see what will happen. Spend one day. Maybe if it's one day is too much because most of you are, are so educated about demons and witches and, and, and lizards and all that nonsense that you live your life. You can't live your life a day without thinking that some demon is after you. I'm telling you, listen, I grew up from an environment and a, and a culture where you were prone, you, you were brainwashed to think that whatever you are, it, it, unless you, you, you know, you don't miss a step and fall. Oh, it, demon, some demon just kick you to fall. A nonsense. Nonsense. So, so how come demons don't, don't give you food to eat? The food you are eating. And, and anytime you are, you are smiling. So, and then look at them. To, if you're going to be sincere with you, some of you from the African countries, from where I was born myself, eh? Spe look at look at the, the the equation, okay? Ten. Just your your whole life is just ten percent, okay? How many times, if you're going to be sincere with yourself, do you talk and pray and spend more time about demons chasing you? Uh, Satan doing all kinds of negative things again about you than the time you spend about God and with God and the things of God. Let's be sincere. You realize that the, 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 the scale don't, don't balance. But yet, the one who created you says that the plans he has for you, there are plans of good and not evil. There are plans he has, the plans he God has for you Listen to this, beloved. The plans he God has for you, they are plans of good and not evil. To bring you 
not to destroy you. Oh, glory be to God. Not to destroy you, but to bring you to the expected end. Beloved, begin to think, begin to understand this. That the one who created you has good plans for you. Stop spending more time on the one who didn't create you. And think that that person has more power over the one who created you. And stop being afraid. Stop being afraid. I'm talking to you today about this the witness. Witness. Your spirit in you bears witness to the spirit of God. Witness. Now, if the Holy Spirit bears witness with you, in you, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, beloved, the Holy Spirit. If the Holy Spirit, if the Holy Spirit is bearing witness to the Spirit of God, why do you waste your time in thinking about that which God has not given to you? Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. God says, I have not given you the spirit of fear. Some of some of you are so afraid to live your life. So afraid. You can't even enjoy a daily meal without thinking of some demon from your mother's background, your father's background, and all that. Oh boy. Whew. When the, it's getting exciting, the time is gone. All right, we're going to continue. Now, let's let's continue. <laughs> okay, so what did I say? It means that, okay, we can enjoy the quiet confidence given to us by the Spirit that we have indeed passed from um, death unto life. Okay, it also means that we can now approach the mighty creator of the vast universe and refer to him as Abba Father. That's what it means. Abba Father. Now we can we can we can boldly approach the throne of grace. Why? Because of what Jesus has done for you and I. We can boldly now come to God and call him Abba Father. You know that the translation of that Abba. Abba is like, you know, daddy, daddy, or some of you from uh, uh, Africa, uh, papa, <laughs> papa, all right, that's what, that's what Abba means, Abba, father, papa, daddy, that's who God has, has made us and brought us through Jesus closer, okay, now, Maybe you don't know that before. Before you couldn't do that. If you were born in the old dispensation, beloved, there ain't no way for you to say that. You were not even close. You were not close. And you listen to me. Your 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 you were such a a sinful person. How how dare you call God? See, this is why. Now, maybe you don't understand. This is why. Jesus was was so hated by the the religious people okay because it's like Jesus was calling God the Father my father my father sent me my father is in me oh do you think you could just think that you were in the days of Jesus and you said something like this blasphemy you were dead you were stoned in a heartbeat Beloved, we have so, God has blessed us so much with, with so much that we don't know what we have and we are missing it and wasting more time on the guy who is already, already judged. Maybe your Bible hasn't told you that. Search it, you, you see it. Satan is already judged. Condemned, he's already, he know. see, scripture says that he knows his time is, on this earth is even short. All right, so that is why he's so seriously looking for as many people because I mean he likes to be important. Okay, 
He, he liked to be important. I mean, he, he, he listen, he didn't come to this, this earth alone. He wasn't kicked out of heaven to come down here alone. And definitely he's not going to go to spend, you know, that eternal, you know, um, time, okay, for a thousand years in God's, in God's timing alone. If he was able to at least convince one third of the heavenly angels to follow him down here, think about how many, this is why he, see, the Bible says that he deceives the whole world, deceives, he, did, he doesn't bless, he deceives. Paul says the other day, he says, now we are not ignorant about the deceitfulness or the devices, the craftiness, the lies of the devil, lest he takes advantage over us. Are you listening? Well, we were blind, but now we see glory be to God. Are you listening to me? Ain't no way I am falling for the nonsense of, of, the, of the devil. No. Don't come and give me another, another gospel that has nothing to do with my destiny and my future, which is in the hands of God. Because he says that the plans I have for you, they are plans of good and not evil to bring you to the expected end. So wherever, whatever I'm good. Listen, when, I, I wish you could look for Joseph and, and ask him that all that he was going through, oh, glory be to God. If he knew that God had prepared, what had prepared, God has prepared for him was, 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 was presidency. What God prepared has prepared for uh, joseph was for him to be a president see god that's why god gave him a, a taste and a and a clue of it that when he told his, uh, his family members his father and all brothers that, that they hated him for that because see they have understanding of such dreams they had understanding of such dreams because the plans of god for him was to bring him to the expected end the expected end of you, beloved, is glorious. Oh, the expected end of you is glorious. That is why you don't need to throw in the towel. It's not over. It's not over. Why do you want to quit? Because of little challenges you are going through? That's what the devil wants to. Remember, this is what the devil says. He says, I came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. That's what the devil says. John chapter 10 verse 10. That's what he says. Now, listen to what Jesus says. I came to give you life and life more abundant. Beloved, choose one. Choose one. The devil says, I came to steal, kill, and destroy. Jesus says, I came to give you life and life more abundant. Choose one. I, it is my prayer that if you have not chosen the side of Jesus, you will choose him right now. And if you are that person watching me wherever, instantly right now on, on all the social media, if you are watching me on YouTube, if you are watching me on Periscope, if you are watching me on Twitter, if you are watching me on Facebook, if you are watching me wherever you are watching me right now, if you are that person that you are saying, I want to be on Jesus' side, Listen to this again. In, in this world, in this world you are living in, there's the devil who's here and Jesus and his spirit, the Holy Spirit that is here. And the devil says, I have come to kill Satan, Lucifer, whatever his name is. I have come to kill, to kill, to steal and to destroy. Jesus comes and says, I have come to give you life and life more abundant. Beloved, choose one. See, that in, uh, Jesus says you can't serve two masters. So those of you who think that, well, you can be on, this, on Satan's side a little bit and on, on um, Jesus' side a little bit, you can do that. All right? You can do that. Just imagine that um, you were... You were you're an African in, in, in one of the countries wherever you were born and another country is fighting, you know, just because you love that country and that country is fighting your nation. You have to make a choice where you're going to stand. You cannot fight 
you cannot stand on this side to fight where you were born and you cannot stand on on where you are standing to fight on your just because you you have to make a choice because if you don't if you don't stand for something you will fall for everything are you listening to me you will fall for everything but you better know the truth and stand for it scripture says it says buy the truth and sell it not buy the truth and don't sell it so satan today says satan it says i've come to steal to kill and to destroy jesus says i've come to give you life and life more abundant choose one but i can only pray with those of you who are choosing the side of jesus god that's where i am if you are that individual right now all right let me lead you to jesus right now surrender your life to him so that you come under his preservation protection provision and everything trust me you will be you'll be better off that's the best decision you ever made in your life if you are that person pray with me right now close your eyes and pray with me and say lord jesus i thank you for hearing this message i am a sinner and i don't want to die like this i i i, I want to give you my life surrender my life to you right now i surrender my life to you right now lord jesus come into my life and be the lord and savior of my soul and my life take control of me and help me to to live a life of you i thank you i receive you now and let baptize me in the holy spirit jesus so that the whole your spirit would be in me i thank you beloved if you just pray that prayer right now in your most holy faith activating your faith to pray that prayer sincerely i want you to know that yes jesus has received you and you now belong to him begin to walk with him how do you do that by studying the word of god get yourself a bible if you don't have one all right and um, if you also don't have um, um, a local assembly a bible teaching church where you can go and be taught of the word and for you to so that you can increase find one in your geographic area wherever you you are okay maybe if you don't know where you know j just write to me okay i can do that research for you wherever you are i can do that research for you and 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 help you to find a, a bible teaching church where you can hear you can learn the word of god okay because the scripture says listen the bible says that they that have understanding cannot be destroyed think about that they that have understanding cannot be destroyed you have to understand the word of god are you listening to me because when you come to the place of understanding the word of god and to know your position where jesus is concerned oh glory be to god fear goes off doubt goes off lack goes off it doesn't matter what you're going through you just know that you know that is just a, a temporal situation why because the the plans that god has for you they are plans of good and not evil to bring you to the expected end god has an expectation of that which he has he has deposited and created you for on this earth are you listening to me hey man of god pal well let, come on let's do it apostle let's do it this time all right let's do it mercy sister mercy god bless you i hope you're enjoying united states all right let's do it listen and so and so stand on the side of god stand on the side of jesus so find a church and if you don't have one let me let me know all right write to me all across this is listen you write to me or send me an email or go to the website Go to the website of this ministry, www.patriquenoministries.com. You can get all the information as to contact me there, and I'll help you to find um, a Bible teaching church in your geographic area, wherever you live. It doesn't matter which country, we'll find you one. Are you listening to me? So that you can plug yourself in. In the meantime, join me the rest of the week, okay? Monday through Friday, um, same time, starting at 10 a.m., 10 a.m., 
Eastern Standard Time in United States of America, 9 Central, uh, I believe it's 2 p.m. in um, uh, GMT time in uh, those of you in the West Coast of Africa and all that. Share this broadcast to your friends and loved ones, okay? Join me same time. Our topic today and the rest of the week is witness your, the spirit in you that bears witness to that of the Holy Spirit. Now you need to check yourself. That the spirit in you bears witness to the spirit of truth. May God bless you. May his, he shine his face brightly upon you today. Enjoy the day. But I want you to know, very important, you don't have no trouble. All you need is your faith in God. And in all thy getting, get understanding. When the Holy Ghost come upon you, you will do great and mighty things. I want you to know that you don't have no trouble. All you need is your faith in God. And in all thy getting, get understanding.